To log in to TL Lead Manager, you must have your username and your password. Enter your username and then enter your password. After you've entered both, you can click the Remember Me box to remember those for future use. Next time you go to log in, the password box will be grayed out and you can just click the Sign In button. If you've forgotten your username or your password, click Forgot Your Login. You can enter the email address where you have received new lead alerts, or you can enter your username if you remember it, or if we have your cell phone on file, you can enter your cell phone number and have both your username and password sent to you as a text. Once you've entered either your email address, your username, or your cell phone, click Send as Email to have both username and password sent to your email, or click Send as Text Message to have it sent as a text. TL Lead Manager is set up so that you can see all lead information, update lead statuses, set follow-ups, and enter call notes all within this one screen. The basic layout of the screen is four columns. The first of these columns is basically a backward seven. Going across the top, you can see their name and their date of birth, and then going down the left-hand side is their contact information, phone number, address, and email address. Within this left-hand column, you'll also see lead category and assigned date. And then you have the next three columns. These are the most important columns within all of our system. These three columns allow you to do single-click sales reporting, set follow-ups, make notes, and make sure that no lead ever slips through the cracks. We have a video that goes through these three columns in detail, and we highly recommend that you watch that. Of these three columns, the first is the lead status. Then you have the to-do or the follow-up, the must-call, must-mail, and that also includes the general notes. And then the last column is the call notes section. Up at the top, you'll see tabs for search, appointments, tasks, calendar, and letters. Then you have your action items. These action items are created as you set appointments or set must calls. So basically, as you use those three columns that are the most important, your action items will then be populated. Under the action items, we have tabs for more features within our system. And then up at the top right is our navigation. So arrows to move through your leads, the number of lead that you're on, and you can enter a specific number in there to go to a specific lead. The new lead button, so you can enter your private leads. The go to drop down, which will list all of your leads in alphabetical order. And then, of course, there's always the log out button. So anytime you log into our system, be sure to log out to make sure everything saves and closes properly. To retrieve your new leads within TL Lead Manager, when you log in, up at the top right in red, you'll see new leads with the number of leads you've received. You must click on the red words to bring the leads into your database. We do this so we aren't just populating your database without your knowledge. Once you've clicked on the red words, the search screen window will open and your new leads will be listed down at the very bottom under search result. From there, you can click select all, which will highlight all of your new leads. And then to the right, you have several options. You can view the leads, export them, send emails, print the leads, write letters, edit all of them, send personalized cards, or print the lead card images. If you click on View Selected, it will open just those three new leads. At the top right, I can see I have one of three, so it's a subset of just my new leads. You can quickly work through each of your leads and update their lead status, set future must calls, general notes and call notes, and then once you're finished, click on View All Leads, and your database will be restored for all of your leads, and the new ones will also be included. TL Lead Manager is built so that you can maximize your selling time and minimize the amount of time you actually spend working with leads. We do this by having three main columns on the Lead Details screen, and if you update each of those columns, you will never miss an appointment, you won't forget to call somebody back, and you'll never let a lead slip through the cracks. So what are these three columns? First column is the lead status, and then you have your must call and your call notes. 
So anytime you call somebody or you contact somebody or you try to contact somebody, you're going to update those three columns. So for example, Jim and Pam, I call them and I get their voicemail. So what, what do I do? Leave them as new lead, but then later I don't know they're a new lead. I don't know what happened. So instead, I'm going to say, now they're a callback. They're no longer a new lead. And then I'm going to set a must call. So I'll check the box and I'm going to say, I take Fridays off, so I'm going to call Monday. And Monday I go through certain times of the day and call. So I'm not going to put in a time to call them but since I got their voicemail. And then in the call notes section, I'm going to write LVM for left voicemail. And once I click on click this button, it's going to date and timestamp for me. So now I know exactly what happened when I called them. And I have a status that I'm going to call them back and a future call date. So when I log in on Monday, I'm going to have, say, five to ten people to call, and Jim and Pam are going to show up. If I call them back and I don't get a hold of them, I can just do the exact same process. Instead of updating the callback, I can leave the status as callback, but make sure I change it to must call in the future and enter another call note. So one more example I'll show you is I'm going to go back one to another new lead. And here I have Olivia and Peter. Now here I call them and instead of getting their voicemail, I get them, but they're going on vacation. So they want me to call back in a week. So they still will be changed to callback. And this time I'm going to set a must call, select a date, and they're going to be gone the entire first week of March and they asked me to call back on the 11th. So I'm going to click OK. And then they ask that I call them back in the afternoon because that works better for them. So I'm going to put 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And then for call notes, I'm going to put what I just talked to them about. So they said they were going to Disney with their grandchildren and they'd be back in a week. So I put all that information into the call notes. I click on click this button. It's date and time stamped. So when I call them back on the 11th, when I log in and I have all my calls, I'll know, oh, these are the people who are going to Disney. So I can ask them when I call them how their vacation was. And then they'll know that, hey, I really do remember talking to you right before I leave. So it gives that personal touch and I have all that information. So whenever I'm finished with the lead, I'm always going to make sure I've updated their status, I've set a call date for in the future, and I've also made a call note. So you're always going to do their status, set what you are going to do in the future, and what you just did. By doing just those three things, and you can see how quick it was, you will never miss their appointments, you won't forget to call them, and you'll never let anybody slip through the cracks. To find leads within Tail Lead Manager, you have many options. I'm going to show you just a few of those options. First, the leads are listed in chronological order of the time that they were imported into the system or entered into the system. So, to get to your newest leads, you'll have to go to the very end of your database. You can do this by clicking the very last arrow up at the top right of the screen. From there, you can work backwards using the other navigation buttons to the left. The very first navigation button will take you to the very beginning of your database. If you're looking for a specific lead, you can click on the Go To drop-down and either scroll down to somebody's name or you can start typing and once you see their name is is showing, you can click enter and it will take you to that person's information. From here you can enter notes or update the lead status or just have their information in front of you if they happen to call. Another option is to click search up at the top left. Using the search screen you can search for pretty much anything that's within the system. Here you have personal information, lead information, sold policies, date of birth, and of course your people to mail or your people to call. If you're looking for a specific date or your newest leads, you've clicked the red words and now they've disappeared. You can click on assign date, type in the date that you received the email notification, and if you want to search up until today or today is the day you receive them, you can leave the box, the second box blank. Once you've got that entered, you can click the big search to the right and your leads will now be listed down at the bottom. From there, you can use the select all and then view selected. Now you can see I'm going to be looking at just those three new leads and I can quickly and easily update their statuses, enter their notes, and make sure I put a must call for these, this person. 
The printer-friendly versions of your leads use pop-up windows, so if you've clicked print and nothing happens, then most likely your pop-up blocker is catching the screen and preventing it from opening. You will need to allow pop-ups for this site. TL Lead Manager will only pop up things you want and never any annoying ads or anything else. The quickest way to remove your pop-up blocker is to click Other Options at the bottom of the screen and then click on Print Lead Report. Once you click on Print Lead Report, down at the bottom of the screen you'll see an alert that shows Internet Explorer is blocked to pop-up. From here, click Options for this site and then Always Allow. On the alert, you can go ahead and click Retry. After you click Retry, the Report Viewer will open and you can click Print from here. If you're using um, a different browser or you have Yahoo Toolbar on your system, then if this pop-up blocker doesn't work, you might need to look around on your screen for other pop-up blockers or your, on your Yahoo Toolbar to remove those pop-up blockers. Once all pop-up blockers are removed, this will open and you can easily print your leads. You have several options on where to go and how to print your leads. These options depend on how many you would like to print and what format you would like to print them in. To print a specific lead, you can go to that lead using this go to drop down or using the navigation arrows and click other options and then you can choose print lead report or print lead sales report. If you click on print lead sales report, it will include any policy information that you've entered. After you click on print lead report, a new window is going to open and then from here within the gray banner at the top you'll click on the printer icon. Once you click on the printer icon your control or your printer dialog box will open and then you can click print. If you're using Firefox or Chrome or Safari the printer icon won't be shown and you'll have to click on export and then choose PDF and from here you can choose open and then you can open it as a PDF and print like you normally would. So you can use File, Print, or Control P. And then once you're finished printing, you can go ahead and close out those windows and you'll be ta taken back to the main screen. If you'd like to print the lead card image, you can choose Lead Card up at the top and this will open up the lead card image. From here, you can choose to print the printer-friendly version or you can also print the printer-friendly version with lead data. So if you click on the printer friendly with lead data, you'll see you not only get the scanned image, but you also get the lead data at the bottom. To print this page, you can just right click and print or file P or file control P. To restore back to the main screen, you just click on the image and now you're back to the main screen. If you'd like to print several leads at once, I'm gonna go ahead and click on lead detail just so that we're back on the main screen. You click on search up at the top left and the search screen window will open. From here you can choose the different types of leads that you would like to print. Um, you can search for your newest leads and print those using the assigned date. I'm just going to click on the big search and then I'm going to get everybody. And then from here you can click select all to highlight those leads. And then you have the option of clicking print or clicking LCs. LCs will print all of the lead card images and you can use the printer just like we did on the last screen. If you click print, you'll get options to the left on how you would like to print those leads. So leads will print two on a page typically and this will include all of their notes, their call notes and their categories. One PP will print one per page and it will also include all of the notes and the categories. Three PP will print three per page. The categories and some of the notes are cut off so that way it will definitely fit three on a page. Callbacks print a condensed version. It's about five or six on a page. And this is really useful if you have callbacks that you need to make in between appointments and you just want to print it and take it with you. And then 5160s is the mailing labels. So if you've sent out letters and now you need to come back and print their labels, you can click on 5160s and print all of those labels. For this example, I'm just going to go ahead and click on leads. Once again, I get the report viewer and I can click on the printer icon and print all of those leads. And then once I'm finished, I can click the X and close out that window and then I'm back on the main screen where I can update my statuses, set my must calls, and work all of my leads.